since we are already one and a half months into 2019 and we have seen a lot of fintech activity happening already uh, so it's a good time to talk about the upcoming fintech and banking conferences uh, across the world so uh, i think there are two kind of conferences which are very relevant for uh, folks right now one is obviously the banking conferences which are the american banker small business conference the retail conference the digital banking conference as well as the global banking conference which is going to happen in toronto fintech uh, related conferences like lend it and money 2020 and all five so i've been attending banking conferences over the last four or five years and i've seen an evolution uh, you know in the initial years there were a lot of traditional bankers coming and now there's a lot of advent towards the digitization and also the you know what digital is going to do in the banking space Rohit, what is it that bankers should really expect to learn at some of these conferences this year so i think a lot of time the banking conferences don't serve much purpose you know they actually are just a place for people to meet and and discuss you know what is happening uh, in their own banks you know but the key for a lot of conference organizers is also to get people who are working at the cutting edge of technology i think in the past i've not seen much of that they have just you know worked with anybody who was willing to sponsor a conference but i think some of the conference organizers have realized that now they are putting together the agendas and speakers who are more you know, working in things which is pushing the limits you mentioned all the fintech conferences that are out there money 2020 lended fintech what's the hot new thing that those fintech conferences are really going to be talking about in 2019 so two hot topics you know right now are going to be the role of aiml you know across the fintech and the banking space uh, it's gathering a lot of attention there's a lot of fear of job losses there's a lot of fear of you know what it's going to impact and how the impact will play out and the second is the role of regulation in the fintech space. That's one area where people are not paying any attention right now, but what we can see in Europe and some of the other markets, you know, regulators are trying to set up rules to control the technology industry as a whole. And once that happens, you know, it will have an impact on the fintech space also. What's the value, if I'm a banker, in going to one of these fintech conferences where I know there's all these vendors and technologists and things of that sort, why should I be attending? I think uh, the biggest benefit for a traditional banker to go to a fintech conference more than a banking conference is that they can get exposed to new technologies. They can meet with a lot of uh, fintech companies. They can meet with a lot of you know, young, smart people who are trying to you know, think in a very different way. And I think the other thing is you know, they need to plan their meetings well. They need to network. And they also need to you know, say that, OK, once I've gone to a conference, you know, they need to put out a post on LinkedIn, what they learned or what they didn't learn, you know, what were their uh, say disappointments also from the conference or what were good things they found in the conference. But I think that will help them to engage more with other people who attended the conference. Now, Vista Credit has actually hosted its own fintech conference, the Frontiers of Digital Finance uh, show. As a conference organizer yourself, what are you looking to do in the agenda for that conference? As a conference organizer, what I found very interesting was that when we are doing uh, the conferences, we are not doing it for trying to generate revenue. You know, we have done it more for the ecosystem, the knowledge, and also bringing in the right kind of speakers. That's very important. So, like in one of our last conferences, you know, we not only brought people from financial services, but we also brought in companies which does search. Uh, firms you know for financial services uh, so that is very important how to build a team how to build a world-class team how to train them how to keep them motivated so that's a very important aspect which I have not seen especially happening in fintech conference or banking conferences everybody either talks about technology or operations nobody talks about the human resource piece so I think we bridge that gap so Rohit, you've been to a lot of conferences, you speak at a lot of conferences. What's your advice for folks who are going to be attending this year's 2019 conferences? So my advice is that one should go prepared, uh, you know, to uh, achieve what objectives they have in mind. One is obviously meeting the right people, attending the right sessions, but also they should be open to something new. So my take is that since the fintech industry is booming, there are tons of fintech conferences. As a fintech player, one needs to pick and choose the right conference go and hit their objectives and also give feedback to the organizers. <music>